This week on the channel, Dave KZ9V joins me to show you how he modified his 40 through 10 meter end fed half wave antenna to work as a quarter wave radiator, radiator on the 80 meter band. I'll give you a hint, it involves the magic carpet, so please keep watching to find out how he did it. All right, hi, I'm Dave White, KZ9V, and I'm camping here at Lake Wissota State Park in Wisconsin this weekend. And uh, I've got my antenna deployed. This is actually a uh, 49 to 1 transformer. It's an HF kit that uh, it's sold by ARRL, and I assembled that kit about a couple of years ago. And I really like it because it, it works on 40 through 10 meters. So I have 40, 20, 15, and 10, and uh, they're really excellent. In fact, I, I pulled it up on the antenna analyzer and you can see that all the dips are in all the right places on uh, 10 and 15 and 20 and 40. So when the sun goes down, I love 80 meters. But with this end fed, it's a 67 foot wire and it works great on 40 through 10, but no go on 80 meters. So I came up with an idea a couple of years ago where I could take this coil, which I uh, home brewed, and it's basically a 110 micro henry coil and you attach it to the far end of the 67 foot wire and then with the appropriate length whip on the end you can actually make this end fed work on 80 meters problem number one you have to get this on the end of the wire which if the wire is elevated that's tough and the second thing is, is that the bandwidth because of the coil is very very narrow and 80 meters, you know, is 500 kilohertz wide. And with this coil, you only get about 70 or maybe 80 kilohertz. So you have to be very careful when you tune it. So I came up with another idea. Instead of using the coil, 67 foot wire just happens to be a quarter wave on 80 meters. So if I eliminate the transformer and just hook my coax, directly to the wire. I'd have a quarter wave on 80 meters and then all I need is a, a ground plane. Well, <clears throat> 67 foot wires uh, radials headed off into the woods in every direction it really isn't feasible. So we came up with the idea of why not try utilizing the what we call the magic carpet. And I'm standing on it right now. It's basically an aluminum screen and you've seen it Lots of guys are using it now uh, with their Wolf River coils, very, very popular. But I'm going to show you how we can use this with my 67 foot wire and use a, we'll come up with a very effective 80 meter quarter wave wire for after dark. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the transformer off and we're going to convert this into a quarter wave 80 meter wire. So I've got my Anderson power pole connector here. So now the transformer is disconnected and I'm going to go ahead and take the box off. Okay, so we're done with that. And then we're just going to take this coax that I have with alligator clips on it and this will connect to the wire and this will connect to the aluminum screen down on, on the ground. And with any luck at all, we'll be resonant on 80 meters. All right, so we've got the antenna analyzer here and we're going to do a sweep and see, see how this thing does. Remember a 67 foot wire, it's a quarter wave on 80 meters. So, so there's the sweep. It looks pretty sweet to me. And instead of uh, being limited to just 70 kilohertz, the, the uh, 2 to 1 VSWR bandwidth here is actually almost 400 kilohertz. So problem solved. So now we just have to wait for the sun to go down and we'll see how this thing works on 80 meters. This uh, SWR is very low.
All right, so it's like a 9.30 local time. It's been dark for uh, about two hours. We're connected to the 67 foot wire that normally is my NFED half wave for 40 through 10. But we have it connected directly to the coax tonight and uh, we've got the aluminum screen laying on the ground. And uh, so that's our ground plane. And we're gonna try and make some contacts here. <clears throat> we've got CW going at the moment. If, if we don't uh, scare up anybody on uh, POTA, because we are spotted on the Parks on the Air spotting page. If we don't uh, have any success with CW, uh, we'll switch to FT8. I know we'll make contacts there. The noise floor is typically high, you know, summertime, 80 meters. So tonight it's about S8 noise. But scanning the band, uh, we can still hear lots of single sideband conversations well above the noise. And for the last two nights, I've been running both CW and FT8 with this very same antenna set up and making contacts uh, despite the high noise. In fact, last night we had uh, thunderstorms in the area, so the noise was like plus nine last night. Well, we're not getting any callbacks, but we are getting spotted on the reverse beacon network. K9 IM Alma has got us at a 12 dB above the noise floor, so we're, we are getting out. Well, we didn't get any CW takers this evening, but as Dave switches over to FT8, I just want to remind you that if you enjoy this content and found it useful, please hit like and subscribe. That's my indicator to produce more of these types of videos. Thank you for your support. So we'll find a spot that looks fairly clear. We'll go up a little bit above 2500. And uh, on this cycle, I'll grab one. I won't even call CQ, I'll just grab a guy. And this guy is uh, KF0LTY. And uh, he's not showing up in the database at all, so he may be a, like a fairly new licensee. Yep, there he is. Okay, so he, he uh, we're giving him a minus three, and he's giving us a minus one. So uh, we don't know what he's running for power or what his antenna is, but he's hearing us, uh, what, two dB better than we're hearing him. So that tells me that that our antenna is no compromise. We're, you know, it's more than adequate. Like Watsika, Illinois, and that's that's really typical of 80 meters here in Wisconsin. All right, so we've got two in the log, and we haven't even called CQ yet. So this is obviously a, a viable solution. 80 meters is a lot of fun. Whether it's CW or or FT8, you can work quietly and not keep everybody else that's awake or uh, trying to sleep awake and uh, have a lot of fun without really any modification of your 4010 and fed halfway S sweet deal hope, hope it works for you <laughs>